Welcome to another edition of Through a Veteran's Eye. I'm your host, Art Callahan. Our program today will focus once again on educational opportunities for veterans in our viewing area. Last week, Fred Schinberr and our guest today focused on Hagerstown Community College, its many programs, and all of those programs being available to veterans. This week, I'm going to discuss one or two specific programs at the college. Before I get to our guest, I want to once again remind you of the telephone number of Maryland's commitment to veterans behavioral health services, which is a hotline for veterans and their families needing help with behavioral health issues. That number is 1-877-770-4801, and we'll run that number several times during this and every program. My guests today are Mr. Kevin Crawford. Welcome, Kevin, and tell us a little bit about uh, this solar energy program at the college. All right, first of all, thanks for having us again. Uh, we're very excited about this program. It's a Department of Labor a grant. We're in the third year of the grant, and it's an alternative energy program, which covers solar, uh, wind, and geothermal. Um, we have trainers specifically in the classrooms there, um, state-of-the-art equipment, and uh, we can do classes on the credit side, working towards a certification or a degree, or we do classes on the non-credit side. If a company or a business uh, needs some uh, training in solar or wind or geothermal, uh, we can offer that training for, for that company. So we're, we're extremely excited about the program. Have you got, how many students do you have involved in that today? Well, we, we have uh, specific numbers that we have to meet through the Department of, of Labor grant. Right. Um, our degree programs, our classes have been filling up pretty well, and we've been running it now for, for three years. And on the non-credit side, we, we have groups of students that go through classes, whether it's through a company or, or large classes of training somewhere. So there's hundreds of students that have got a certificate or are working towards their degree in one way, shape, or form. And these programs are all open to veterans, and you would probably encourage veterans in these programs. I would strongly encourage it. You know, um, Alan will be able to tell you as, as, as he's in the program, but the program can start off as a certificate program, which is a very short-term program. Um, we would hope then it could get into that degree area, but a certificate is short-term. A student can do it uh, not necessarily in two years, might be a year and a half or a year, and it's very hands-on. So it, it's, it's something that a veteran coming out of the military may have a great mindset for, and they may have a, a, great, uh, uh, a great background and ability to succeed in the program. Back with us again today is your friend yes. and, and your henchman, I think you yes. called him last week, but, uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Alan Crawford. And, and uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Albert Cal Alan Alan Calvert. Oh, I'm having a struggle today, but I'll get it out here. <laughs> Alan Calvert. Alan, sure. it's certainly a pleasure to have you Thank here. You. Uh, understand you are a veteran, uh, spent plenty of time, how much, uh, with the military? 20 years, sir. 20 Retired years. Army. And, and you were in the military police corps? Yes, sir. But more importantly for today's segment is you're an enrolled in some of this alternative energy, I'll call it stuff, a real technical term. <laughs> so. Yes, I am an alternative energy technology major. Okay, and so what and does that entail, Alan? Tell me a little bit about the program. I'm actually pursuing a degree, not just a certificate. So I'm covering the wind, the solar photovoltaic, and the geothermal. Okay. And it's a really well-structured program, so it doesn't just cover the alternative energy. It covers all the foundational skills so that even if you don't have a position right when you come out of energy, you're well-positioned to work in any of the different trade fields, electrical, HVAC, what plumbing. We were out and shot a little background uh, information uh, for this show. So, so tell me, uh, as, as you look around the uh, the uh, area where the training takes place, tell me about some of this. If I saw a propeller, is that a wind program or? Yes, sir. They have a they have some very high quality uh, lab vault training equipment to where you can actually get realistic simulations and hookups on how all the systems interact. If you're looking at hybrid systems which use multiple sources or if you can look at using just wind or just solar. I saw some solar panels and so you can you can get some training on the, this technology called solar I guess. It, it's very technical you have to understand the physics on how the sun converts energy to DC power and then you have to be able to figure out how to convert it from DC to AC. Okay. 
Okay. And they cover all those aspects in the class. I know from last week your background and experience is with the Military Police Corps, but I would assume that, uh, that uh, people that had uh, MOSs, military occupational specialties, uh, in the Army or Navy, Air Force, Marines, whatever, that related to engineering and communications and computers would all have good background of, to, to be involved in this program? It would work very well. I, we actually have an active duty Navy person in one of my classes that's an electrician. So he's taken some of these classes and it gives him a good foundation. For that. Uh, the college has uh, a young man that specializes in looking at portfolio to get us credits for our military training. Okay. And so that, that would, uh, would enhance or at least speed up uh, yes, the getting of the certificate or the degree as was necessary. Correct, because a lot of the military uh, veterans come in and they, they want credit for prior learning. So we have a representative of the admissions department that can look through their portfolio of what they've done and, and possibly give credit for, sure. uh, for the prior learning they've went through. Uh, first, uh, first time person to, to get involved in some of these programs at Hagerstown Community College. What's the, who's the first person to contact? Is it I would you? contact my, myself, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, I do the recruiting at the college. Uh, I can have anyone come out and do a tour of campus. We do them three times a week. Okay. And we're more than happy to walk them around campus, introduce them to, to lead faculty or division chairs or students if they need to. Um, you know, HCC is this community's college, um, and we want to help the students. We want to help them get into a new career, change careers, or just uh, look around if they need to. Sure. Kevin, I'm going to run your email address okay. and, and a telephone number. Yes, that's great. If you don't mind, on the crawler on this particular Perfect. show. And uh, I hope this will encourage people to get in touch with you. Correct. I want to touch real quickly because we've only got about a minute okay. left. Uh, tell me a little bit about this cybersecurity business oh, great. that Dr. Altieri is very interested yes, in. Yes, yes. We're very excited about the program there as well. Cybersecurity is uh, a, a taking another step in the computer area. We have many uh, uh, degrees and certifications in computers, but cybersecurity is a uh, cutting edge uh, next step of, of, uh, of IT. And uh, we have a, a recruiter in cybersecurity. His name's Anthony Hanners. Any student out there that's interested in cybersecurity can give him a call at the college and he'll. Uh, let them see the laboratories, let them see what cybersecurity really is all about. Well, it sounds like we're really a community that's uh, veterans friendly. Correct. And, uh, and so I want to thank you, Kevin and, 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 and Alan, for being here with us today. It's, a, it's always a pleasure to talk to you all about opportunities for veterans in this community and, and the area. Uh, you've been watching through a veteran's eye and uh, I want to thank our viewers and hope you'll get in touch with the folks at Hagerstown Community College. Thank you for watching.